We're walking up to the house. We're right in front. Everybody's behind us. It's a sign. <laughs> they're cute and they're old. They're, almost old. they're not old, bruh. That's funny. <laughs> Ooh. We're playing to win. We're playing to win. And if because the doors come out, they come out. They come out. <laughs> So we're representing the 031. Uh -huh. We are. That's my city. <laughs> you just live there. Sometimes it comes across as being bitchy, um, but really it's just telling it like it is. They are looking absolutely dashing. <laughs> not too dashing. Not, not as dashing as him. <laughs> I'm a Zulu girl from Durban. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Pashi's probably thinking, what is this toothpick on my <laughs> Yes. They weren't the spices that I was expecting, because I like my spices. And if that was a Moroccan starter, I, I didn't get it. I would have liked to get some star anise, some cinnamon. We definitely didn't get Morocco. Yeah, we missed the flight. I really enjoyed the starter. More sauce would have been good. Something like a gravy. 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 Like, that like <laughs> pie and gravy or mashing gravy, I mean, come on. Well, as I meant to say, jus, sorry. <laughs> to be honest, it didn't do it for me. With regards to the flavours, all of it was kind of fighting for attention. Would I order this main at a restaurant? No. I loved it. I wasn't a fan of the bread, but I just... The stuffed calamari. <laughs> We're kind of sceptical of her palate. She seems to enjoy everything. She may have the flu. There's an old school Indian dish. It comes from a canned pulchid, and it's called, like the Indians call it, tin fish. Yeah. And they make sandwiches, and that tasted exactly like... We're just like, oh, this sounds really mean. OK, I'm glad, so I'm not being bad, I'm yeah. just saying. You guys are being bad. Oh, just being honest. For us, dessert was jelly. Because <laughs> one thing that people don't understand about local foods, especially in our culture, is that we ate them because of poverty. And then they've taken it and, and made it into five-star cuisines. But, you know, uh, like with the cuisine you're talking about, peasant food. Mm. I, mean, I enjoy it all the time. So it's like samp and mutton or samp and lamb or... What do you mean peasant it, food? It, no, I mean that what other people call peasant food because it comes from humble beginnings. In the culinary world, it's a widely used term. I mean, people like, don't like to talk about that type, type of stuff. You know, but farm to table is a different word. Maybe he just lacked a better word, you know? It just came out wrong. He really meant so well. First impressions, like... <laughs> yeah, shame. Yeah, it was a bit of a slop on the, on the plate. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Devon. And I'm immediately greeted by an aroma that is just... <gasps> yeah. Good. That's our weather, yeah? Everyone is looking absolutely beautiful. Definitely dressed to the tea. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't this. I, I like the theme, okay? So don't get me wrong, I like the theme. But it feels <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm at Tyron's son's birthday. At a kitty's <laughs> birthday party, yes. Street art, graffiti, skulls, and I'm just trying to get a curry here. <laughs> I honestly wanted to be like, are you mental? Two items that are bought and a relish on the side. I don't know if that's competition quality for me. <laughs> what is that on it, the plate that is looks that like strawberry ice cream? Strawberry ice cream. <laughs> pepper sauce. That peppercorn is hitting at the back of my throat. I keep coughing, yeah. but I keep you going back. You actually choking. I keep going back. It's like a bad relationship. You know you must leave, but you keep <laughs> going back. I love him. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> they have added something as amarula, which we could taste. Yeah, they definitely whitened it up. Definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna be blunt. I mean, at the end of the day, are people being nice for the sake of worrying about how they're gonna be judged in return? What? Or are we actually judging the food? We're going hard, yeah. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I think the kumbaya phase is over. <laughs> yeah. People are getting nervous. <laughs> Which people are getting nervous? <laughs> <laughs> you are getting nervous because you're last. It's, it's honestly because you guys are under pressure at the moment. Yeah. Because you're the last, you know? Mm -hmm. It's normal. I do feel that we are going to be scored more harshly than any other restaurant. I wouldn't blame anyone for playing strategically, but I just hope that um, our food is good enough, that strategy won't be needed, you know? Yeah. I'd be mortified if I brought out a dish yeah. like that. Well, you've never seen Kim hungry before. <laughs> she is savage. Yeah, I do go, but savage. Like, the first time I think we dated for, like, maybe a year, Kim was starving. <laughs> she, we never had a fight before. Everything's going smooth in the honeymoon period. She's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I start the fire, I'm marinating these chops. I'm like, babe, I'm making the chops. She's like, but they're not ready now. <laughs> It's Kim. She turns into a psycho, apparently, when she's angry. <laughs> this is the night I make it on my own.